Hello everyone and welcome back. I know it's kind of been a minute since we've had a video. Um, <laughs> that's my dog. Um, I wanted to come pop in and talk about Lekka. So I've actually transferred over a few of my Hoyas into Lekka and it's been absolutely incredible. And I just kind of want to go through the process of what I did, um, what I chose in terms of the water vessel that I'm keeping them in. Um, how much nutrients I'm using and kind of just checking in on the growth and showing you how well it's working. This is an incredibly well-kept secret. I don't know why everybody isn't using Leka. It's incredible. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here's the basic setup that I have and I'm going to show you guys all of the plants that I transferred into Leka. But as you can see, we've got some buildup at the top. So I'm just going to be rinsing this entire container and um, refilling it with nutrient water. Um, actually, the water that's in here is probably fine. I'll just probably top that off. Um, but I just want to share this cutting with you. Oh my god, look at this. Th that's completely new growth. I received this cutting, I want to say less than a month ago. I should, I should find that ex exact date, actually. Hold on. I'm going to go do that. Okay, so this was actually delivered to me on November 19th. So, that's literally, how long is that? That's two days less than, two days more than a month. That is two days more than a month. And already, it's not only put out this brand new growth, but look at these roots. This was unrooted. Like, literally just a stem cutting. There was absolutely nothing. So... I don't know about you, but a month is insane, like absolutely insane. I have never had something root this fast, this well, in such a short amount of time. Um, so I've never actually done a flush before. Um, this is where I rinse the Leka balls usually. I could do it in the net, but I'm going to take out the plant, so um, I'll probably just do it in here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently take the cutting out. I'm going to dump the Leka balls in here and then rinse them in the sink. Um, you don't want that stuff going in your drain. So if you have a container to put and catch that water, that'd be great. Um, but actually, now that I think about it, since I already rinsed it, there shouldn't be any clay matter going into your drain. Um, it should just be the, the extra little, um, like nutrients that you're rinsing which is fine for your drain so i'll probably just let it rinse down um it's not that much but it has been a month since i've had it in here so i think it's just a good idea to give it a good rinse anyway um so i'm gonna go do that and i'm gonna show you the roots Okay, and so I've already rinsed the Leka balls that are in here. Um, what I want to talk about is the setup that I went with. Um, so a lot of people suggested to not use the mason jars because algae grows really easily at the bottom and just kind of all around. Um, I've only had it for a month, so I can't really attest to that, unfortunately. Um, but I went with this idea because they were just the cheapest option and the net pots just fit so perfectly inside. Um, and it looks well, it's aesthetically pleasing. So I just, I don't know, I guess I went with aesthetics over functionality. Although, you know, functionality wise, it does definitely work really well. Um, you can monitor the roots as well. As you saw, um, the root was kind of <laughs> going through the net pot, which I don't think you're supposed to have that happen with semi-hydronic hydroponics, um, especially with houseplants. The roots shouldn't really be sitting in water. Um, it's not full hydroponics. Um, I don't know exactly the, t the difference between the two actually now that I think about it. Um, I think hydroponics is just when you have the roots in the water though. Um, so yeah, this worked really well for me. Um, the jars come out to about a dollar each and the net pots I think were about 20 cents. Yeah, 20 cents at a local hydro store. So if you can definitely get them in person, it's a lot cheaper, but if you have to, you can also get them on Amazon. Um, I can link both of them, but again, I did not purchase them on Amazon. I think finding them locally is a cheaper option, but it is what it is. Whatever works for you, it's really easy to get started with it, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, as far as nutrients go, so I got this, I got this big bottle of distilled water from Albertsons or wherever, it was 90 cents, um, and I put a teaspoon each 
of the general hydroponics nutrients um that i did get get on amazon so i will link that down below um it tells you exactly how to how to mix it up on the label so there's no confusion or <laughs> anywhere you can really mess up just follow the recipe it was a teaspoon of each but you do have to do them in order so yeah once you have that mixed up you just give it a good shake and then pour it into your container um so i'm actually just going to fill the top with more leka and then let this guy do his thing look at these roots i can't like <laughs> this is insane this is absolutely insane this is just a month there was no roots on this plant i'll try to insert a picture of like what it looked like when i got it this is incredible i can't believe this this is incredible And that's it easy peasy couldn't i can't really get all the roots to just be like snug in there so it's okay if it sticks out it just um it shouldn't be touching the water um it's okay honestly if it does i think because i did have it touching the water for maybe about two weeks and you saw like it was perfectly healthy so i don't think that's too much of an issue um i am gonna dump the water out though because there's a little bit of i don't know if you can see it but like bits at the bottom um i think that's just from the clay so it doesn't hurt to just rinse it out so i'm just gonna take this out i'm gonna dump the water and i'm gonna refill it with some nutrient and water so since I am fairly new at this, um, I didn't want to go the full, I don't want to say power, but the full dosage of the water. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to dilute it a little bit. So I have a little bit of water in here already, and then I'm just going to top it off with the nutrient solution so that it's not too concentrated. I'm just going to shake it. Hold on. And I actually mixed this water at the same time that I planted this, so it's been about a month since I've had it. I think it's totally fine if you store it. I don't think you have to remix it every single time you need it. Um, maybe like a year is not okay, but I think a month or two is totally fine. I'm, and I'm almost out, so I think it's okay. And yeah, so this is how much I fill it. About, they say about a third of the way, so that looks about a third and that root is a little in the water and hopefully that'll be okay but we'll keep an eye on it okay and i was only really planning on doing one of them in terms of the flushing but i just wanted to show you this one this is a uh a philodendron gloriosum um this thing was dying um it first grew some roots and then i put it in soil thinking that it was going to be okay because it had two baby leaves bigger than this the baby leaves were maybe like this big so i was like oh that's really fine i'll just put it in soil and for whatever reason it started to rot um so i saw it i said okay well then i guess we'll just try this like thing again um because it was just working so well for the hoyas and lo and behold we have a new leaf um so i just rinsed i just put i just ran water through this i didn't put it into the white container um just because it didn't want to disturb the roots the roots on this one is really thin um and i don't really need to check on it since there's no roots really coming through the net um just that new leaf is the only new growth that I can really see. I can take it out, but I'm just going to choose to be a little patient. Um, so I have a little bit of water here. This is just filtered water from my sink. I have a, a filter attached to it, so it's not um, distilled water. Um, you can worry about the pH. I'm, I only worried about the pH that was mixed with the nutrients. I didn't worry too much about the water. That's totally up to you. I don't, I don't know. They've been, it was, it's been working okay so far. And it is definitely um, trial and error, so. My logic with that is if it's, if the pH is okay for the plants to grow in water, like when you just do a water prop, why wouldn't it be okay when you mix nutrients with it? Um, definitely not an expert, so that logic could be very wrong, um, but that's what we're going with. And yeah, so that was it for this one. All I did was just rinse it, change the water, wash out the jar, and that's it. 
Okay, so this part isn't going to be the best quality, unfortunately, because of this light. Um, I just have a very basic setup going here. Sorry, that's my dog's bed that he never uses, so I just put it in the corner. Um, I have a very basic light. It is on a timer, and it's controlled with this remote. It's not um, like a wall plug, so if I turn it off, it's going to mess with the 12-hour timer. I have it on a 12 on, 12 off, so I don't want to do that. Um, but I think you can see the growth just fine. It's just a little pink tinted um okay so right in the front here i have a hoya bella louis bliss louis bouis i don't know <laughs> i like louis bouis better um i have not seen any new growth on this i just took it out to check on the roots two days ago and i didn't see any new ones but these two brand new baby leaves are coming in so i don't know you do you, girl. We're gonna wait. Um, I have the water at about there. Even though the root, I mean, or the stem probably stops here. You do not want your stem sitting in water. That I know for sure. <laughs> um, this is the Gloriosum that we just took care of. I'm actually gonna put this here. This is a prop box I have. Not too much stuff in here. I have a Mat Matilde, Mat Mat Mayfield? I don't know, Matilde on the left here. Um, this mm, is a Peru, I think. It's a Peru, like, node that I just threw in here. Um, this is a Decidia ovata. I just put that in here, so it's definitely not rooting yet. And that is the bottom part of the Louis Bois, Louis Bui, <laughs> that I cut off so that it would fit better in the Leca. That actually is rooting. Should I take that out for you guys? Should I do that? I'm gonna do that. Mm. I don't want to take that out. <laughs> Never mind. Um, okay, so this I have in soil. This is a Hoya Compacta Variegata. Hindi Rope is what it's called. Um, I've been debating on taking this out of the soil and putting it in Lekka, but it's just kind of happy in here. It gave me two new leaves this year. It was a baby, so I wasn't expecting much, but it seems to be working okay, so I just didn't want to mess with it too much, but we'll see. We'll see. I think I'm going to wait until spring and then repot it. Um, this is a Hoya Sunrise. Actually, let me show you this in, like, regular light because it's sun-stressed. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. That is just beautiful. I just received this, I want to say, two weeks ago, maybe a little bit less. Got a good deal on it on Mercari. If you guys... Don't shop on Mercari. You are definitely sleeping on that. Definitely look at Mercari before you purchase anything. I think it's a really good place to make offers is really the good part. Um, I kind of just laid it flat because the roots were just growing from like every part of the stem. I probably shouldn't have done that, but we'll see how it goes and I might adjust it later. Uh, this guy actually needs a little bit of water, so I'm going to add water in a second, but... Um, Okay, moving on, I have a Hoya, Hoya Wayeti Varigata. Uh, I just also received this about a month ago. Um, this was already rooted, so I mean, I'm, I'm expecting a little bit of faster growth than usual, but the Polynera ended up growing way faster. I don't know why. Um, there's a little bit of new growth here. I don't know if you can see that very well, but yeah, that's new growth coming in. Very exciting. Um, it's not really sun stressed yet, so we'll see how that goes. Um, back here, I have a Rotunda Flora. I don't know how, if that's how you say it, but that's how I'm going to say it. So this I actually received through a trade through Carrie. I know I talk about Carrie all the time, but she's just freaking amazing. So thank you, Carrie. Um, it's just a few cuttings that I threw in here. And look at this new growth. We have that here. This is new growth. This is completely new growth. This is completely new growth. Um, this right here is completely new growth. Look at the baby leaves. They're so cute. I can't. Um, and this one is just putting out roots. I don't know if you can see those roots. But yeah, this guy is doing good. He could probably use a rinse, but I'm just going to leave her be for a little bit. Yeah, return to Flora. Okay, so next was my test subject. So this is a Crimson Queen cutting. 
Um, this guy I chose as my guinea pig because I, again, I'm not experienced with Lekka at all by any means. So I wanted to make sure that I was even capable of doing this. Um, so this was my little like common-ish, I don't want to kill my super Eskimo <laughs> cutting kind of situation. Um, and it works so well because this guy was not growing. I literally had this in soil for maybe six months and there was no sign of growth. Quite the opposite. I'm pretty sure it was rotting actually. So was not happy with that. Um, when I put it in the Lekka, this new, this little like growth nub right here was not there. So that's completely new growth. Um, after I saw that, I was like, ooh, everybody's going in Lekka. <laughs> I don't think you can see roots yet on this guy. No, but the, but the new growth is very promising. Okay, and last but not least, we have the regular Hoyo Waiyeti Eye. Um, this, I, I purchased both of those at the same time. Um, this one is also doing pretty well. Um, I don't see any new growth on it yet, but I know that the roots are definitely working very hard. If you can see, let me see if I can, there it is, yeah. The roots are looking good. So, very excited. I've actually taken a cutting from this one already at the top right here. Um, but I have that at my parents' house. It's not here. It even was here, but not anymore. Um, so, that's it. These are just the few of the Hoya that I decided to put into Lekka for now. Um, okay, you guys. So, that's all I have for today. Obviously, a very straightforward process. But if you have any questions, if you're stuck anywhere, please let me know. Um, if you have any pots that you like, vessels that you prefer using over the jar method, please let me know. Again, this only cost me a dollar to put together per plant. So if you have anything near that price, maybe a little bit more, but a little bit more functional, please let me know. I'm always open to suggestions for that. Um, but aesthetic wise, I think the jar just looks so good. And especially if you're willing to clean it out every once in a while. Um, but other than that, happy holidays, you guys. Spend this sad time with your family and be sad together i don't know anybody that's just like happy right now which is so sad but yeah happy holidays enjoy this time with your family um be grateful for what you have be grateful for the plants that you have you know it's not always about acquiring the next thing the next plant but appreciating what you already have and on that note i'm gonna go sit with my plants and be content <laughs>